I'm about to show you how to administer this COVID-19 and flu test from iHealth. As you empty the contents of the box, be careful not to damage the box too much because you will be using this perforated circle to hold the test tube in a little bit. Also on the box, check the expiration date. If yours is expired, there's a chance they could have extended the expiration date. The FDA has a website that keeps track of that kind of stuff. I'll put a link to it in the description. The instructions say that the test kit needs to be at room temperature. The instructions also say to clean the surface where you're going to administer the test. And it also says to wash your hands for 20 seconds. They recommend that you wear gloves as you do this test. And that's what I'm going to do. Open up one of the white packets that contains the test card and just set it aside for now. Grab one of the tubes and peel the foil off the top of it. And then press it down into the perforated area of the box. Open up one of the cotton swabs without touching the cotton end of it. You are going to be swabbing the inside of both nostrils with this one swab. While it's inserted in your nose, you need to go around five times in each nostril. You need to go inside about one half to three fourths of an inch if the person being tested is an adult. By the way, three fourths is about the size of a penny. The noses of children will be smaller, of course, so you do not need to go in as much. It says to rub and rotate the swab against the inside walls of your nostril. So you wanna be spinning it a little bit as you circle the inside walls. Then take the swab and drop it all the way into the tube and stir it 11 times. It says to do it forcefully against the inside of the tube. Then remove the tube from the box and keep the cotton swab in place and squeeze the head of the cotton swab five times. The idea here is to just stir things up a little bit. Then take the swab out and throw it away. Then place the cap onto the tube. You're going to turn the tube upside down and add five drops of liquid into this well right here. Once you do that, just keep the test device in place. Don't move it around. It may not look like it, but I am holding the dropper about a half inch above the test card. Once you got the five drops in there, you have to wait 15 minutes. If you lose track of time and it ends up being 30 minutes, you cannot use the results. After the time is up, look at this window here and here's how to read the results. You got the letters C-A-B-T and each one of those could have a line underneath it. The line under the C is just an indication as to whether or not the test worked. If there's no line under C, then the test is invalid and you have to take the test again, but don't reuse the same equipment that you just used. You have to have a new tube, a new swab, and a new test card. It's also invalid if there are no lines at all. So as long as you have a line next to your C, you need to look at the other three spaces. The A is for influenza A, B is for influenza B, and T is for COVID. So if you have a line underneath A, it has detected influenza A in your sample. If you have a line under B, it has detected influenza B in your sample. If it has a line under T, it has detected COVID in your sample. It's possible to have more than one of these things. If you have a line under C, but nothing beside A, B, or T, then the test did not detect any of those things in your sample. Any faint lines under A, B, or T need to be treated as full lines. So look carefully and make sure you squint. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. Thank you for watching.